Wealth Management of the Carolinas and Rodney Harris present your game plan for retirement. Rodney Harris trained with CPA Ed Slott to provide exceptional guidance on IRAs and retirement accounts. He is a Series 65 investment advisor and registered financial consultant with a fiduciary responsibility for his client's best interest. In this presentation, Rodney will provide perspectives, opinions, and strategies that he hopes will help you improve your game plan for retirement. Welcome back. This is Rodney Harris, founder and president of Wealth Management of the Carolinas and your host of your game plan for retirement. So sit back, relax, put your seatbelt on. We're going to take some complex issues and simplify them for you. You know the drill. So folks, it's all about knowledge and power. So that's what I want to do is educate you today. And so let's first talk about something that's important in all our, and, and it's something that's on all our minds. And that's July 4th, Independence Day. It's time to sit back, relax, spend time with family and friends. You know, the one thing that I love is if I'm not at work, I'm going to be with my wife and my son. There's nothing more important to me than family and the values that have been instilled in me from my parents and great grandparents and family and friends. It really is. And so when I think about July 4th, it's about the right and the liberties that we have, the freedoms that we have living here in a wonderful United States. And I truly mean that. So not only are we talking about our national independence for July 4th, United States, we also should be talking about your independence for you financially. And so that's important to talk about and how you need to make sure you have that financial freedom during retirement and make sure we plan accordingly for that financial peace of mind. You know, one thing that people say is if you have a plan and things go great, fantastic, but if you have a plan and things go horrible, you're prepared. And why do we say that? It's the same thing. Why do we wear a seatbelt? We wear a seatbelt for safety in case something happens that we don't get hurt. And when we talk about getting hurt when it comes to your life savings, that could be disastrous. So ladies and gentlemen, that's why it's important to have a plan because here's the other side. If you have a plan and the stock market continues to do well, you're okay. You're, you've done well. On the other side, if you don't have a plan and the market does well, honestly, that could just be luck. Reverse that. Because we don't know when the market is going to have a correction. It's not if, it's when. I believe everybody will agree with that. So it's important to understand that if you have a plan and things do happen in a bad manner with the market, the bull stops running, you're prepared. And your plan addresses that. That's one thing that I pride myself at Wealth Management of the Carolinas is making sure you have a plan to address those worst case scenarios and how does that affect your life savings and the choices you can make throughout retirement. So if you have a plan and things go south, Again, if you have a plan, then you're prepared and you understand the ramifications that happen. And here's what's nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing this for 23 and a half years. I have worked with individuals through the largest drops of history of the market. And I can look back and I have success stories for my clients. The financial peace of mind that they have for the planning that we've done. Remember, I don't believe in unnecessary financial risk. Let's get a good rate of return, but let's do it safely. Understanding the goals and objectives that you have to give you that financial peace of mind throughout retirement. There are a few topics that are important to really address when it comes to making sure that your plan is in place to give you that financial peace of mind that you're looking for. One is understanding what happens with market fluctuations. Another one's taxes. Another one is sequence risk. And we can talk about these three items. First, let's talk about sequence risk. And what does that mean? Well, think about if someone retired in 1999 and their life savings was in the stock market tracking the S&P 500 index, just for example, okay? Don't recommend it. Wouldn't put you in that position because you don't want all your eggs in one basket. We don't do that here. But let's say that happened. <clears throat> what happened in year 2000, 0102? The market had a tremendous decline. What happened to someone if they retired in 99? That meant that their life savings dropped 40 to 60%. Then what happened? The market came back, right? It came back up. Then what happened late 2007 through 2009? The market dropped again, another 40 to 60%. So from the year 2000, all the way to about 2011, 2012, it took 11 or 12 years for people to break even. Most people don't think about that. So it's important to understand the ups and downs of the market to make sure, is your money invested in the most appropriate manner possible? And what do I mean by that? Let's understand the risk associated with it. Let's understand what happens when the market goes up, 
but also when the market goes down, because we need to make sure you have that financial peace of mind that you can make a good return, do it safely, and enjoy those retirement years. Let's talk about taxes. Looking historically at where we are right now, it's pretty amazing to think we're actually in one of the lowest tax rates in history. Don't quote me the exact date on that, but we're in the, one of the lowest tax rates in history. We don't feel that way, do we? But it, look, if you've lived a long time, you've seen taxes at different rates. Go back to the 80s, go back to the 70s. Interest rates were much higher then. Where are interest rates now? Low. Where are taxes? Historically low. So what does that mean for the future? That means that there's a very good chance that taxes will be higher in the future. Why? Cost to live. Unfortunately, the U.S. has a lot of debt. I don't know exactly how the U.S. is going to pay it off, but there's a very high chance that taxes will rise. And if taxes rise, how will that affect your life savings and the income that you desire and want throughout retirement? So we need to understand, again, tax implications. Let's simplify the process. And just take a look at understanding the taxes on how that affects your retirement dollars throughout your years to give you that financial peace of mind that we know you want. What's interesting is that there's some, there are different levels of financial security depending on where you are in life. In your, in your working years, it's called your accumulation years. Okay, so let's take a look at where do you get that financial peace of mind? Typically not from your savings, typically not from your investments. It's from the paycheck that you receive, the income that you get twice a month or once a month from your job. That's where your financial security comes from for most part. Now, please understand that everybody's different. Uh, but when you're in your, those early years, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, you're relying on your income from work to give you that financial peace of mind. Now, as you transition later in life to what's called the preservation phase. Now, folks, hold on. Don't think I'm saying preservation like you can't make any money. We still have to make a good return on your investments. But at that point, what's more important, what you make or what you keep? I think making sure what you keep is very important. We can still make a good return, but let's do it safely without unnecessary financial risk. So when you now transition and you stop working and you no longer have that paycheck, where does your financial security come from? You know what, folks? Comes back to your monthly income. And let's take a look again at what those monthly income sources are. It could be Social Security. It could be pension if you have it. It could be the income that's derived off your investments. And if you work with an advisor like me, if I help you, we're going to have guaranteed sources. We're going to make sure we have an income plan in place to give you that financial peace of mind, not only before retirement, but throughout retirement. So here's a question that I think you need to ask yourself is, how prepared are you? for retirement. And so ladies and gentlemen, when I think back over the 23 years that I've been doing this as a fiduciary, working with individuals like yourself that have 10 to 15 years until retirement or are already retired, it's important to understand there are questions if we don't know, we don't know what to ask. But that's why I step in. That's where I come into play. Because folks, that's why I can give you that financial peace of mind to make sure the plan that you are thinking about it comes into fruition. It's something that you're able to actually exercise, not only create, but able to live. And so folks, when you're thinking about, are you prepared to retire? You may feel like you're ready, but I urge you, when it comes to your health and your wealth, get a second opinion. Let's make sure the plan that you have in place is structured to give you that financial peace of mind throughout retirement. So if you want to be confident in your financial independence, not only now, but also in the future, when you are retired, if you're retired already or not quite retired, give me a call. Call me on the phone directly, 704-782-7233. I'm extension number three. I'll talk to you personally. Let's walk through some of the questions that you have. And so many times I'll just recommend, let's have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, individual meeting here in my office in Concord, North Carolina. That way we can address the issues as they relate to you. Remember, it's not my meeting, it's your meeting. And the issues that we need to talk about are dealing with you and your concerns. My job is to listen and share with feedback to make sure you have that financial peace of mind, not only now, but also throughout retirement. So it is 4th of July weekend coming up. Happy 4th of July to you and your family. I know for me and my family, it means time to celebrate not only independence, but also time together. Uh, and to reflect and to think about the values and the relationships that we have, um, the blessings that we've been bestowed. 
It really is. That's what it's about is to be humbled and to say, thank you. Thank you for the clients that are listening to this. For those that are not clients that are listening, thank you for listening. I love my life. I love the passion about helping individuals out. And so as you're out there celebrating independence, do me a favor, do yourself a favor. Think about financial independence and what that means to you. And if you need anything, I want you to feel free. Reach out to me directly. Call me on the phone. Send me an email, rodney at wealthmanagementcarolinas.com. Come by the office and see me. I'd love to visit with you. I'd love to give you financial peace of mind. You have a great weekend and please be safe. Wealth Management of the Carolinas hopes that you have enjoyed this presentation of Rodney Harris and your game plan for retirement. Advisory services offered through Brookstone Capital Management, a registered investment advisor. The information presented on this program is provided for informational purposes only and is not a solicitation or recommendation of any investment strategy. You are encouraged to seek investment, tax, or legal advice from an independent professional advisor. Any investments and or investment strategies mentioned involve risk, including the possible loss of principal. Any comments regarding safe and secure investments and guaranteed income streams refer only to fixed insurance products. They do not refer in any way to securities or investment advisory products. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs. Fiduciary duty extends solely to investment advisory advice and does not extend to other activities such as insurance or broker-dealer services. Advisory clients are charged a quarterly fee for assets under management while insurance products pay a commission which may result in a conflict of interest regarding compensation.